Hey Libras, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be doing your November general reading here. We're going to do a, a shorter truncated version today because I'm a bit behind. I'm getting these readings over to y'all. So uh, in an effort to do a bit of a quicker turnaround time, we're going to be a little, little shorter today, but hopefully no less sweet. <laughs> um, let's talk about your meditation. So I saw a lighthouse uh, by the ocean and I saw the lighthouse sort of turning its light and then the, the light, you know, kind of shone on me as the spectator. And then I saw a keyhole form like in the light beam. And then I saw a fox, like a fox come through and then kind of go inside of the keyhole, the, the light keyhole and form its body so that it was like a perfect shape of that keyhole, which in turn created a fox shaped keyhole. Fascinating. Let's get right into the cards. I feel like that's going to reveal itself, but but Fox Energy is about creative solution to problems and knowing that there's more than one way uh, to, uh, you know, reach a desired destination or, or, or more than one way to do something. Um, it's also about uh, thinking cleverly, right? And in doing so, working smarter, not harder, but also uh, being able to get, and, and I mean this in the best possible non-manipulative way, but getting what you want out of a person, a situation, or a circumstance um, that is that is the path of least resistance, right? That fox energy can help you to think a little bit more cleverly and and have what you say reach more people, where they can actually receive what it is you're communicating. So as an air sign, I feel like that's actually really good advice for uh, you generally, because it's like as air sign, I'm an air sign too, if you don't know, um, we, we are we are really good at communicating, but sometimes we can be a bit blunt in the way that we can ask for things uh, can't always be well received by the person we're talking to, uh, because it's it's we are saying it how we see it and not necessarily how they're able to receive it. So I think that there's something in that for you. I also feel like the keyhole it's um I do feel like you are in a transition point like in the in-between and I feel like it's about making the best of the in-between and the transition point as well wow brilliant gazelle let's talk about gazelle so um th there's a light and a shadow energy to everything but gazelle energy is very much about how abundance just like rabbit or shark energy is very much how abundance is on the other side of fear so it's interesting. Maybe that keyhole is in that in between is representing like <laughs> you being in the in between between what you are manifesting and what could be keeping you stagnant. And that very well could be fear, right? That gazelle energy, those really large ears that, you know, they have those ears so that they can hear danger from far away and then course correct, right? Some lovely fire energy here as well, which is about, you know, transformation, but also it's about the actions that you do or don't take. It really feels like you guys are in the in-between, but that the answer, the way I have forward, right, is right in front of you, right? This also equates to a sort of a, a nine of pentacles energy, which speaks of independence and, and success that you have on your own. And I do feel like there is this um, aspect of you being called to really rely on your own resources, rely on your own strength, rely on your own cleverness at this time. It feels like there's a big payoff within that, okay? All right, what's going on? <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. Okay, so we have the four pentacles here, which is not moving ahead or moving backwards. <laughs> it's that stagnant energy of being stuck in one place. So hello and goodbye. You know, it's interesting with the onion because as you peel the layer, something else reveals itself. You peel the layer and something else reveals itself. You know, I, I also feel like this fox medicine that I'm feeling for you um, is very much about getting to the root or the inner core of this onion in terms of what has been, and this has been coming across a lot in this round of readings, what is subconsciously affecting your decision making? What is subconsciously informing you? Are you making choices out of fear? And if so, how aware are you of that? What choices have you made in your life? Just as an exercise, right? Get to the core of that onion. What choices have you made in your life that have been from fear? And if you had made choices from love and faith and trust, how might your situation have turned out a bit differently, right? Interestingly enough, that was Queen of Pentacles, but I felt like she was like popping in to say hi, but didn't feel like the card. Yeah, lovers. Very good. 
Look at that imagery. <laughs> so lovers, fellow air sign energy here, you know, with Gemini, you know, it's interesting because we're talking about like a pathway and a keyhole and then we have a triangle and like a way in the in-between and the, so this is really interesting how this imagery is coming uh, to life for you guys. But Gemini energy is very much about seeing things from more than one perspective. That's kind of like the superpower and the burden of Gemini energy is they can see a lot of different perspectives, a lot of different potentialities and possibilities. And the shadow side of that Gemini energy is that can take them into a place because they oversee of analysis paralysis, which keeps them stuck uh, between moving forward one way or the other, right? Even going back to the past is at least movement. And from there, you can like go ahead again. But it really feels like there's this place of stasis. And it does feel like it's directly tied to fear in some way. Okay, this is about choices made from love. That's Gemini energy. We're talking about choices made from love or choices made from fear, yeah? Yeah. This is this is really interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. You know what's really interesting? Um you guys might want to watch the Gemini reading because it, th this also came up in the Gemini reading and you have Gemini energy here. So I feel like there's something in the Gemini reading that is, even if you don't have Gemini in your chart, especially if you do, but if, if you don't, it, it just feels like these two readings are holding hands. So there might be something in that reading for you. Um, so six of wands, this is about success and victory, accomplishment, achievement. But what's really interesting about this is you have the onion, right? In the primary position, four pentacles energy, not moving ahead one way or the other, right? And then you have this keyhole, this passageway, which you're being asked to move through. And then on the other side is victory. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Like that's, that, that's what this is. You are being asked to get very, very clear on how fear has affected your given circumstances, your decisions, the, your mind, your thoughts, your behavior, right? There's something in that, right? Let's get an oracle. Ooh, oh, flying all over the place. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. Okay. Right. So we have the resting tree and this says patient stillness, which really brilliant about this is that two plus two is four back to the four of pentacles here, right? So it's interesting with the resting tree, patient stillness. Do you see how this is like an entryway in the tree here? And she's like, yeah. Remember how we talked about you being in the in-between and I saw that fox folding its body into the hole in the light and the lighthouse. And then we have like the candles and the, it's, it's really interesting how this is coming forward. You're being asked that, or you are being advised, right? And guided at the answers that you seek, the way through to living your highest and best good, your best life, right? Is about allowing yourself to become fully informed on what decisions that you've made from love and which ones have been from fear. And then first you must become aware of what those have been. And then from that, move forward with that information so that you can make different choices. I feel like that fox energy is coming into play again because the fox can also um, represent like a magician type energy where it's, you realize that all the power that you need to transform your situation to manifest better than you, than you have before is all within you. But it's about being first being aware of the tools at your disposal before you can pick them up and use them like is the magician energy. The magician, you know, key line is also like as a above so below then we're talking about like the roots the top of the tree what's in the middle here I do feel like you're at a point of transition in the in-between and you're being asked to be clever about how you go about seeing yourself your given circumstances and also the people that you have around you I'm getting because we are who we hang out with what do they say? Well, like we're an amalgamation of the five people that we spend the most time with that's coming in here for you consider the five people that you spend the most time with Realize what you like about them, realize the areas that they need for improvement, and then apply them to your life and see how they do or do not apply. That's the way forward. Okay? All right, Libra, my beautiful, beautiful butterflies. Um, you absolutely got this. This is your November general reading. I so hope that this helps and resonates. If so, please let me know in the comments below because I absolutely love reading your comments. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so much as always for being here and thank you for your continued support. And most of all, and as always... Thank you for being you and be well until next time.